From the gridiron to the Olympic Oval, a group of elite athletes are not wasting any time gearing up for their next chance to win Olympic gold. And an added bonus here, they've got a cool place to do it during Salt Lake's record hot summer. New specialist Alex Cabrero joins us live tonight. And Alex, it's not a bad place to get out of the heat. Oh, certainly not, Ashley. It is not 100 degrees in here. It is well below that. They keep the ice oval at a cool 61 degrees, which feels great, especially during the daytime. And of course, the ice here, it is freezing cold. But for the speed skaters who train here, even though the next Winter Olympics is still three and a half years away, they are already red hot. It would be tough to find the kind of dedication like Olympia. Preparation. They can't have many other things in their lives going on because this is their full-time job, basically. Hours upon hours, twice a day, without a whole lot of time off. But Coach Gabriel Gerard feels the 2026 Winter Olympics in Italy are only getting closer. It is a long way, but also we have to get back to the to business. That attitude and wanting the very best from the skaters helped U.S. speed skating win several medals during the 2022 Beijing Olympics. This banner recently put up at the Utah Olympic Oval in Kern shows those who won. Beijing 2022 was the first medal in 12 years for the men's in any event. So that's a, a good relief. It's a relief for Gerard because he was only hired about two and a half years ago, specifically to help the U.S. win medals. His success earned him another contract with U.S. speed skating through the 2026 Games. He was also recently awarded the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee Order of Ecos Medal, recognizing world-class coaching excellence. It is nice to, to get some rewards here or there to, as a recognition of, of the time you invest with these athletes to have them reach their full potential which is why he keeps pushing athletes every day. Even Olympic medalists like Brittany Bowe, Emery Lehman, Casey Dawson, and Ethan Seferin. Yeah. Because when it comes to Olympic preparation, tomorrow only means the next Winter Games are closer. As I like to say, also, it's not only about getting faster, it's about getting faster first. It is absolutely amazing to think these athletes are already focused on the 2026 Olympics. That is dedication. And the records they are hoping to set on the ice, definitely different than the records we've been seeing in Utah here lately with that 100 degree weather. But actually, even with the next Olympics still getting kind of closer, winter for us is even closer. So if these 100 degree days have you down, Ashley, in a few months, we'll be wishing we had them again. I know. I need to join you there at the Oval and cool off. <laughs> awesome story, Alex. Long Thank sweet. you. <laughs> yeah, right. See ya.